I've always made things, and when I was about seven, I found that the best sort of thing to make was machines that make people laugh. And uh, I suppose my education was really a bit of a distraction, but I've eventually got back to it now. In, actually, what happened was they rebuilt the pier in 2001, and uh, they were looking for things to put on it, and uh, I was fed up with what I was doing and used some of my savings to get it going. You know, if I'm sitting at a table or something, I always fiddle with the cutlery or fiddle with something. My hands kind of just take over and do things. And then if I'm in the workshop, um, I may do a drawing if I'm going to make something. But sometimes I go out and I, I, my mind's wandering and I find I've made it completely different. You know, it's just my hands have just sort of taken over. Quite a lot of engineers get in touch because they watch my Secret Life of Machines films and took up engineering partly because of that. And they and they nearly always love their jobs. I think I think there's a lot of sat job satisfaction in engineering. In a lot of engineering jobs, you have something physical that you you know for show for your year's work. Describe my workshop. Well, it definitely doesn't look like anything out in the modern world. It's an old thatch barn. Um, and there, uh, it, from April to September, I never close the doors so the swallows can get in and out. And uh, there's an old ginger cat. Oh, well, he just, he's so old now, he doesn't come in so much, but most of the, until this year, he's been, had, had a basket in my workshop and helps me. Um, and there's sort of cobwebs everywhere and there are bits and pieces of things that I've made, prototypes and... There are quite a few things there that I've made and I can't remember why I made them, you know, it's just lots of stuff. Having lots of parts and lots of tools and stuff around you, um, it's, it's sort of like a physical version of a memory map. You can, I often not quite sure how to do something, I go out to the workshop and seeing some part or some tool or something um, gives me an idea of how to make the, solve my problem. You won! So, we're retiring. In parting, we Technology is sort of innate in us. It's a sort of basic drive like sex and eating and sleeping. Um, and, and the idea it's based on is that uh, we stood up just because our hands got too useful to just be walking around on them to for do things with tools. What was my experience of studying engineering at Cambridge? Um, well, it was mixed, I suppose. I liked, um, I, I, I hated not having a workshop, that was the first thing, and, and I thought it looked terribly dull to start with. Um, but actually, I quite got into doing all the sums. It's, it's terribly theoretical, of course, at Cambridge. And I've never used any of the sums again, but, um, but, it, but it was well taught, and, and it, gives, it also it gives me the sort of confidence when I'm making things now to, that I know there's no point in doing those hard sums because they're not relevant to making the sort of things I make. Which, if I hadn't done the hard sums, I'd never be, wouldn't be able to say that, would I? So.